Over the last month, various YouTubers have released videos discussing how broken YouTube is with the DMCA, fair use, and copyright strikes. How anyone can issue a false claim or strike and nothing happened to them. How in YouTube's eyes, if you receive a strike, you are guilty until proven innocent. And how it's literally impossible to, one, reach YouTube, two, get a response in a prompt manner. You're supposed to get one in like one business day, eh, yeah, you don't. Three, actually speak to a human person about the issue. Recently, many channels have been getting copyright strikes more often, and some are even getting nearly every feature of theirs taken away after one strike. An example would be Channel Awesome. Even though in the past, when I had just one strike, the same thing would happen to me, I wasn't aware that that was an odd practice for YouTube to do. Well, anyway, to having their channels getting delayed without any strikes, in many cases, unable to reach YouTube. Example, I hate everything. I must admit, I am proud of how the YouTube community has reacted to this by causing enough stink to get some of these channels back and the strikes removed. However, that's not good enough. Only complaining about YouTube on YouTube, but nowhere else is the equivalent of a bunch of customers who complain about the treatment they get from a particular store, then only complain amongst themselves and then complain to the store and the store does nothing because they know the customers will keep coming back to them as if they didn't have any other options even though they do so the store just continues to treat them like crap i get the feeling that people are thinking that this what the fair use issue is merely a youtube or entertainment issue it's not it's a legal issue fair use is a law and it's being broken by YouTube and some of the biggest companies around. And since it's a legal issue, we need the rest of the world to know about it. We need the YouTube community to contact both local and national news sites and organizations, or even the Better Business Bureau. I'll go a step further. We need to contact our congressmen, especially with this year being a major election year, and you know how much politicians love to jump on an issue like this. Hell, even if they bring up the topic and that's it. It would get YouTube's attention and then we could finally start having a dialogue with someone from YouTube. Even if we can't get the government's attention right away, it's important we contact them anyway and also let every news agency know about this. I live about an hour away from Flint, Michigan and everyone here knew about the lead war issue but nothing was done until the media was able to blow it out of the war. Don't misunderstand, I am not saying that the copyright and fair use issue is on the same level as politicians knowingly destroying thousands of people's lives. My point is nothing moved forward until the media got involved. Also think about it like this, YouTube kinda resembles the government, stay with me. While it makes a lot of money from the major companies and a handful of highly subscribed YouTubers, the bulk of its money I imagine is from the small to middle to kinda big channels. There are way more of those than channels like PewDiePie and etc. If the Ultra channel suddenly disappeared, YouTube could still function, but if the reverse happened, YouTube would be in deep doo-doo. Also, I will agree with what a lot of channels are saying about what to do from this point on. Do have backups of your videos. Do be cautious, but don't be scared to the point where you do nothing or just leave YouTube out of fear. Also, as a precaution, do have a second channel under a different email address just in case something happens to your other channel. And now I'm going to finish up this video with some alternatives to YouTube that you might want to check out.